here in the back? Okay. I'm currently a graduate student at MIT and Harvard Medical School. I'd like to introduce you to the The NAPOIL is the world's <laughs> so, I love the map. And the great thing about maps is, I can study. I'm Justin. I'm currently a graduate student at MIT and Harvard Medical School. I'd like to introduce you to the map well. The map well is the world's first mapping class, designed to help you lead a more efficient and productive life. So, I love the map. And the great thing about maps is they're actually really good for you. Regardless of how well you sleep each night, maps have been shown to boost your memory, creativity, and ability to learn new things. The problem with maps, though, is I'm a horrible napper. I usually wake up feeling terrible. I have a headache and groggy feeling that I just can't shake, and it ruins my entire afternoon's productivity. The technical term for this feeling is sleep inertia. And it happens when you wake up abruptly in the middle of a sleep cycle. The NAPL solves this problem by gradually waking your senses via a simulated sunlight. The inside of our patent mask <coughs> lights up slowly, just like a perfect morning. By gradually waking your senses, NAPL helps you wake up feeling refreshed and ready to go. It's really easy to use. Simply set the amount of time you want to nap for. Slip the mask on, and sleep and wake naturally. The nap well is perfect for people with busy lives. Use it like we do, to nap the mice at home, at work, and when you're on the go. We've made several prototypes of the nap well, and are seeking Kickstarter funding to help with manufacturing costs. Please support us with a donation or by pre-ordering the nap well today. For more information, visit napwell.net. Thanks, and we look forward to helping you nap well. So we launched on Kickstarter about a couple weeks ago, and about uh, two and a half weeks left, we're about 90% uh, funded. Um, one of the nice things about Kickstarter is we've actually gotten feedback, although this is like a napping mask, we've gotten feedback from backers who are actually excited to use the product for uh, many other applications. So for example, we have um, couples who currently use uh, sunrise lamps to sleep each night, and they like them a lot, but they don't like that it has sort of a global effect. It wakes their partner up uh, when they want to wake up, and they have different schedules. So for them, um, having a nap well is a, is a big plus for them. On that same token, we have a lot of people who um, have sleep disorders, or um, inside, uh, they're narcoleptics, or have specific sort of like shifted sleep schedules, and um, they have, they, they currently use um, sunrise alarm clocks to some degree of success as well, but they want something that's more portable that they can bring to, uh, to work when they're taking, I wouldn't call them naps because they're sleeping for longer durations then, but they still find a benefit from them. So one other uh, really interesting application is I actually got contacted by um, an active duty U.S. Naval submarine officer, and he was like, I really love the nap well, um, and I'm getting one for myself, and I'd like to get some for my crew as well. Uh, because when U.S. submarines dive, I guess, they're underwater for months at a time, and they don't have any natural daylight cues to regulate their circadian rhythms. The only way they do it right now is by eating food. Um, and it's not optimal to install you know, any kind of uh, sunrise lamp in the bunk rooms because the bunk rooms are shared, and all of the sailors have different schedules of work. So for them to have a nap well um, is also a big plus. Uh, sure, I mean, it's kind of small to see, but I can show you guys one-on-one -on -one afterwards. Um, um, yeah, there's not, like, not much I can... It's here. <laughs> it's here. Come see me afterwards if you guys want to play with it. Um, uh, I've got many more copies in Boston, but I'm here visiting uh, my wife for the break. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess one of the biggest, like, non-napping uses we've gotten um, feedback <coughs> from, from on Kickstarter is people really want to use this for transatlantic and transpacific flights. So frequent flyers really want something like this to um, let them you know, wake up to light uh, on their own schedule instead of based on what the airline says should be when you wake up. So right now we have uh, 
in our prototype, uh, we have a we have like a coin cell battery operate system. We, we the bike of the envelope math is it should last for about a year because it's only ever using power to light up. Otherwise, it's like sleeping. It's it's like a it's like a combination of like your wristwatch plus an LED that lights up. Um, but we're definitely working on optimizing that. I think the yeah we're working on. Based on a simple timer, or do you have a sensor that detects what stage of sleep you are? So right now, it's just a simple timer. Um, uh, so from talks with sleep experts, like all the devices that try to monitor um, what stage of sleep you're in, um, a lot of them are only uh, frontal EEG sensors, and they're actually woefully inaccurate. Um, this is like based on the sleep scientists doing studies on them. Um, so. Until we like develop secret sauce for like you know, denoising and figuring out these problems, it's probably um, any extra information we get is not going to have that added benefit of like oh you're in this specific sleep cycle like wake up now. Um, but the the theory behind this mask is that say you're in deep sleep, when the mask starts lighting up, it's not going to wake you out of that deep sleep. But it'll wait until say 15 minutes later when you're out of deep sleep, the mask is at maximum intensity, uh, and you're no longer in deep sleep. That'll wake you up. But let's say you're not in deep sleep when the mask starts lighting up. Then it'll actually wake you up before you get into deep sleep. Does that make sense? So it gives you this sort of buffer zone of when it's okay to wake up without feeling sleep initial. Yeah. What's the maximum nap time you can go? And um, what's the increments of, um, of uh, lighting and getting lighter? Sure. So, um, yeah, sorry, the question was, what's the maximum nap time you can go? And uh, what are the increments of uh, lighting levels? So the current maximum nap time we allow for is, I think, 48 hours. So it's, 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 uh, it's, it's usable for sleeping uh, overnight. Uh, and in terms of uh, brightness, it's pretty gradual. It's like an analog, so uh, it's, you won't notice the steps. Uh, yes, in the back. Ah, so you're asking if you have to reset it every single night? Yeah. So we, not in this model, but in the actual model we'll be shipping, there's going to be like a quick set button. So like a memory of like your favorite nap schedule. And you just push one button and it sets it automatically. Like the, the duration. Models are shipping, but that's a good idea, and we'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Do we have time for one last question? Sure. Uh, okay. Do you have to do any like health and safety testing when you make a product that is like so close to your body and, and is like using electromagnetic radiation? Yeah. So there have been a lot of uh, papers published um, about like LEDs and the effects on the eyes, and actually the general consensus is LEDs are safe um, at, at the levels that we're going to be letting them at. Um, in terms of like uh, whether we have to go through the FDA or the FCC for stuff like this, there are some other products on the market, and um, my understanding is they don't, they haven't had to, um, but we should definitely, we'll definitely work into it. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry for the FDA. <laughs> All right, thank you, Napwell. We made it.